why we take help from Buddha? There are four reasons why we should take refuge in Buddha, right? Because Buddha is um, liberated, himself liberated from all kinds of fear, all kinds of suffering. Because if he is also suffering in samsara, then he may not be able to help us. Because if someone is, uh, for example, if someone is uh, uh, drowning in a day, and both of you are drowning in a day, then you cannot help each other very much, because you both are drowning and you both do not know how to swim, okay? So you need a person who can swim, swim who is not drowning, so this person can help you, right? So if, if the Buddha, he, he himself <coughs> is suffering in, in samsara, and he has a fear of suffering, then he will not be able to help us. But he is totally free from all this kind of fear, is totally free from uh, all kinds of sufferings, so therefore he is capable to help us. Okay? That is very skillful. And he, because, why? Because he knows the right timing to help us. He knows the nature of all of us. He knows exactly what is our intention. And he knows what kinds of potential you have. So when he see disciples, he can help them in many different ways according to their individual intentions, according to the individual motivations and intentions, uh, 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 according to the individual um, nature, because we all have different natures. So in individual natures, different nature needs different methods uh, to practice, right? And then uh, he knows uh, uh, the right time for for the individual person. So, for example, in Buddha's time, uh, the, uh, there was a there was a king. It's called we call uh, Simeon Eater, king of Simeon Eater. Uh, his name was Rabza, the joyful. Uh, ever joyful person, like Ravka, that means ever joyful. So, so this king, Buddha wants to help him to get uh, out of samsara. But uh, the time was not rapid. So whenever Buddha tries to help him, he couldn't help him. Because he, he is a very good guitar player. So he always plays guitar. And he enjoys that. And, uh, his skill of playing guitar is uh, not uh, incomparable, cannot be compared with any other uh, guitar players. So he is very proud of his skills, and he is enjoying his skills, and he is always distracted with uh, his guitar. So he never listened to <coughs> Buddha. So the, at the end, when the right time came, then uh, Buddha also uh, uh, emanated into another form. And he also played a guitar. Okay? And then and the, 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 this king was also playing guitar and with 1,000 strings. Each guitar has 1,000 strings. So they are playing, both, both of them are playing. So playing equally, uh, 
how do you say? Equally good, okay? Equally good. They, they both take one, one straight out. So 999 straight. Still the same, uh, same sound, the same, uh, they are making the same sound, the uh, same music. And then they take each, each of the strings and uh, keep on taking out the strings, each by one, how do you say? One by one, okay? One by one. And then finally there was only one string. And the king was playing as, uh, as good as uh, he played with the 1,000 strings. The Buddha also played and, uh, uh, with the same scale. And then finally the Buddha took out his last string. And without string he played. <laughs> And same sound, same music. And then he was, the, this king was defeated because the, this king couldn't play without string. So, so the king was defeated and uh, defeated and then his proud pride was gone down, okay? Surprised. And then he, he admired Buddha and then Buddha showed his uh, real Form, and then he gave Dharma talks, and then finally he, this king, attained Arahant, uh, Arahant Put. Okay. Uh, so, so the, 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 this, the, the, this timing, the Buddha was also waiting for the right time. So he knows this is the right time. We don't know. So, <clears throat> and then there are many stories like that. You know, when the right time comes, then. He uh, helps the person because even if Buddha has all the powers, he cannot help uh, if the right time is not come. The right time hasn't come because karma, karmic power, the cause and effect, the law of karma is very powerful. The power of law of karma and power of Buddhas are considered equal. So Buddha's power are very powerful, but the law, power of law, karma is equally powerful. So the, the when, like when someone's karma is ripened to give the result, then Buddha cannot stop that. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any suffering in the world. There wouldn't be any hell realm, any lower realms in the world. Buddhas might have already destroyed if they have the power. But the, the karmic law is equally powerful. So you have to wait for the right time, right? So Buddha knows. Buddha knows exactly this is the right time. And the uh, right time for the individuals. And the nature of the individuals. The intentions of the individuals. And so forth. So. He is very skillful to help others, right? He has great compassion. But compassion, we also have compassion. But our, our compassion is partial. We feel compassionate towards our relatives. We feel compassionate towards our children. But we cannot feel compassion, we cannot be compassionate to our enemies, right? So our compassion is partial. So Buddha's compassion is impartial. Buddha's compassion is for everybody. It's equal to all beings. The feeling of compassion is equal to all beings. That's all sentient beings. That's why it's called great compassion. So he has great compassion. Even if we hurt him, it doesn't matter, right? So as a third reason. The fourth reason is since he has great compassion, he will not uh, see whether, uh, whether someone benefited him or whether someone uh, not benefited him or whether someone hurt him. It doesn't make any difference. 